All right, it's a nice day outside, and I figured it was a pretty good time to redo my Virtual Boy review, considering I just picked one up yesterday for free. I had an Xbox original sitting around, and I brought it to the flea market, and the guy had a Virtual Boy sitting around, and we did an even trade for it. Now, this does work. It came just like this with uh, the view. No IPs, no controller, but I have two controllers, and, and it works. But the right eyepiece has scan lines on it, so... It's caused by the adhesive wearing out on the ribbon cable to where it goes into the LEDs. Kind of like the original Game Boy. Same thing. Alright, this is my personal Virtual Boy that I've had for a while now. In the Blockbuster case, when you would rent the Virtual Boy, it would come in this case to protect it, and I'd pick one up off eBay. So this is my view. Mine's in really good condition. A little dusty, though, because it's been sitting in here for a while. Just kind of wipe off the dust. No scratches. Really, I think it's a cool looking system. People say you look uh, ridiculous playing this, but Nintendo's been known for that because you don't particularly look cool playing the Wii or the DS. So, here's all the games I have. I have every game released in North America. Going through my list, I have here uh, Red Alarm. Except mine got kind of chewed up. Uh, Tolero Boxer, V Tetris, which is actually a, a Japanese game. Golf, Galactic Pinball, Panic Bomber, which is actually kind of like Tetris, not a Bomberman game. Vertical Force, this is the Japanese version, but identical to the American one, except for, you know, Japanese lettering. And um, the Virtual Boy doesn't have any lockout on it, so you can just pick up a Japanese game and play it straight on the system without doing any mods. Uh, of course, Mario Tennis. And this is my kind of like harder to find collection. Uh, Mario Clash, pretty good game. 3D Tetris, pretty good. Uh, okay, my two most expensive games are right here. I'll save that for last. Uh, Virtual League Baseball. Uh, Nestor's Funky Bowling. And the best game on the uh, Virtual Boy, in my opinion, is uh, Wario Land. Really good game. I recommend picking one up if you have a Virtual Boy. And if you don't have a Virtual Boy, I recommend picking one up for a good price on eBay just for this game. It's really worth getting a Virtual Boy for. Really good. I wish they uh, re-released it for the Game Boy. Now, my two most expensive games uh, by Ocean is Waterworld, which cost me about $50. And last but not least is Jack Brothers by Atlas, which cost me $100 for this game. Now this game is anywhere from $75 to $200 depending if you get it, you know, complete. Uh, this one actually came with the instruction booklet and the, uh, the little uh, protecting piece it came with, so I picked it up. Yeah, and uh, let me go on setting up my Virtual Boy and I'll show you some gameplay. Now, I recommend if you have an old office desk like mine, which this computer doesn't work, so I just kind of brushed all my work stuff off of it and uh, play my Virtual Boy on it because it's perfect. I use an office chair and everything, and it really, really is comfortable. The controller, oh yeah, let me show you that. What's on this system? You have on top, which is the Focus and the IPD. The IPD, let me see if I can show you what it does. Everyone asks what it does. It moves the mirrors left and right. Watch. I don't know if you can see it, but right there. See the mirror going back and forth? Left and right. It moves both of them out, both of them in. It's meant for, you know, how far apart your eyes are, how close they are. Yeah, it kind of adjusted to how they were. And the focus actually um, tilts the mirrors. I've taken these apart and looked at them. They're actually pretty easy to fix. So, you have to focus it to the, you know, make it as clear as possible because the Virtual Boy playing it with, when it's, fuzz, uh, when it's fuzzy, you actually can uh, strain your eyes and hurt pretty bad. Now, Virtual Boy actually doesn't bother me. I've played it for a while, and it doesn't seem to bother me that much. Now, I'm just going to put in Mario's Tennis because it came with the Virtual Boy, and it's the easiest to find game for a very low price. You can get these on eBay for like $3.00. So, uh, I'm going to try to film this. Oh, yeah. And the stand for the Virtual Boy is actually adjustable. If I can adjust this thing. Just loosen it. There it goes. 
and uh, zoom into the eyepiece. But what I'm going to do to make it easier, I'm actually going to take this off, which just pops off, and try to uh, film like this. It's an uh, important read the instructions and a uh, precaution booklet before uh, operating. Virtual Boy. Now you notice on the top left and bottom right you see two uh, little VB symbols. Now on the other screen it's top right, bottom left. And this one it's bottom right, top left. It actually does two different views and then when you see them with both eyes it blends the image together to create the 3D look. So over the camera you will not see the 3D unfortunately. Automatic pause. What this did was because it strained your eyes, every 15 minutes it would pause the game for you. Now, let me pause it for a second. Um, the processor in the uh, Virtual Boy is actually a 32-bit processor. It, it didn't really get to use its full power because it died in less than a year when it was out. The sound processor in this thing is actually a 16-bit audio processor, which is, it has really crisp and clear sound, really good sound in it. Now, what I always heard is why they went with red and black, because you get the best 3D images out of it. You could do the best with it. It was the cheapest, and it blurred the least. Also, they couldn't do full color, because not only was it too expensive, but the colors actually didn't focus properly, and they would blur. That's what I've always heard. You know, if I'm wrong, then, you know, just correct me, and yeah. But I think the Virtual Boy, I think it would have been better if they added a racing game and some shooters at the, at the release of it, or, a, you know, a decent size scrolling Mario game, or, you know. Also on the Virtual Boy, there are two D-pads on the controller, and there's actually like trigger buttons on the back, and the batteries go into the controller, and you turn it on from here. It takes six double A's. It actually does pretty good on the double A's. Not too bad. I've only changed the batteries twice, ever, and I've had my Virtual Boy for a couple years now, so, except I don't play it that much. It, it probably lasts about seven hours, eight hours. So... Yeah, and the uh, right D-pad only works with a couple games. It does work with Mario Clash. I figured that out today. It, uh, the right D-pad, whichever direction you put it in, that's where it throws the turtle shell in any direction. It does work with that game. It works with uh, Tolero Boxer. It works with, I think, Vertical Force. And I think that's it. I'm positive, though, about uh, Mario Clash and Tolero Boxer. I'm positive about that, 100%. But um, you can pick these up on e eBay, you know, just the view unit and the eye shade for like 30 bucks. I mean, they're not too expensive. And I recommend picking one up just, from, just for Wario Land. Pick one up. Really good for that game. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll make another video soon.